and it is very good defense being played by the Knicks right now. As far as playing off the dribble, bumping cutters, because I'm sure the Bulls don't see this night in, night out. Now some pressure on the ball. Pippen hanging back. They look to double up on Ward. Bulls will go with the pressure sporadically. What Williams is just checked in. Buck Williams has provided a lift for the Knicks right throughout the season. 22nd timeout is taken by Phil Jackson. Minute 34 to go in this first quarter, and obviously Phil is upset. Bulls lead by two. Well, Phil very unhappy with uh, Randy Brown on this particular play. He felt that Randy wasn't aware of what kind of defense they were in uh, after that free throw situation, and when you break down defensively that far away from the basket and then one pass over the top now you have what in effect is a two-on-one fast break situation a nice bounce pass for buck to finish the play the bulls started out by hitting their first four shots three by jordan one by longley but since then four of 13 from the field and the bulls now lead 18 to 16. bulls at one stretch led by nine they're up 14 to five Steve Kerr has come on, replacing Michael Jordan. Pippen being played by Buck Williams. Weddington. Rebound handled by Ward. Charlie Ward, an excellent rebounder for his height and position. Nice pass by Ward. And Buck Williams with his second straight successful drive and he's tied the game at 18. Well Rodman lingered in the backcourt to try to pick up a steal on Charlie Ward. Charlie took advantage of it to keep his head up and find the open man. Tiffany looting two nicks. First Johnson in but could not convert. Just under one minute left in the first quarter. Oakley and a loose ball foul. Hugh Evans says stay right here. It is against Chicago. Well, Dennis, on Dennis Rodman's man is Buck Williams, but because he stayed in the backcourt, Bill Wennington was caught right in the middle between his man, Charles Oakley, and Buck Williams, and that perfect strike by Charlie Ward to set uh, Buck Williams in for the easy one. Scotty Tippett upset. Scotty off to a slow start, one of five for the field, and two personal fouls. And the reason why Scotty's upset, first of all, he didn't think he committed a foul, and the guy he was tangled up with, yeah, there it is, is Larry Johnson. Hopefully he is a better free throw shooter than Larry Johnson, who's struggling a bit from the line at 68%. And 0 for 2 tonight. There it is, as uh, over the years, Larry Johnson, when he was in more of a scoring mode with the Charlotte Hornets, you are getting more free throws. Now that Larry's only taking nine shots a game from the field, doesn't even get to the line as much as he used to, but where he has really picked it up and helped the mix is at the defensive end, and his passing has been sharp. Jason Caffey has come on for the first time, and uh, he has uh, played well, in particular with the uh, many absences of Dennis Rodman. Brown, Randy Brown, ties the game at 20 with a half minute left in this first quarter. Ward and Starks at the guards, Johnson, Oakley, and Williams up front. Here's Oakley popping it back out. Johnson eluding Rodman, and that's stripped. Final seconds of the quarter. Steve Kerr pulls it up. Pippen with the lead for Caffey, broken up by Ward. We're down to one and three tenths seconds left in the first. A uh, terrific pass by Scotty Pippen. He had to float it to get That's it inside left. to Jason Caffey, but an equally fine defensive play. Charlie Ward not quitting on the play, coming from behind and knocking loose. Rodman's inbounds to. That's the end of the first quarter. Fast start by the Bulls, and then they faded. Michael Jordan. 4-7 from the field, 9 points, Patrick Ewing is hit, 2 of 2, he has 5, the Knicks and the Bulls, tied at 20, you are watching the NBA on NBC. 
I'm Marv Rashad back at Madison Square Garden. And Marv, you and, and Matt have been talking about how Michael normally at the beginning of a game sort of steps back and lets the other team, his other teammates do some certain things and really doesn't take, a, take charge. Well, he told me earlier that the key to this game was to make sure that the Bulls could withstand the Knicks initial charge because it was a big game it was very exciting here and they would come out and play it very strong so michael coming out being a very assertive and shooting four of seven in the first quarter unlike he normally does in other games i'm sure that was the reason for that trying to keep his team involved in the first quarter mark all right about the bulls got off to the good start they led 14 to 5 but over the last eight and a half minutes the Knicks able to turn it around outscoring the bulls 15 to six, Chicago shot nine of 21 for the field in the first quarter, and the Knicks settled down and went eight of 15. But Williams jumping out on the switch on Jordan, who is back on the floor. Rebounded by Oakley. Well, everybody's going to get a crack at Michael Allen. Houston got the start. Looks like Larry Johnson will play him for a while. Here's Charlie Ward. So the Knicks take a 22-20 lead. Uh, Phil Jackson saying before the game a, a couple of big concerns. Of course, always Patrick Ewing with the Knicks, and they don't want him fresh at the end of the game, but he's really concerned about the Knicks bench. People like Charlie Ward, Stark, and uh, also Buck Williams. Yes, the bench has done the job throughout the season. Open shot to Stark. It's a three for John Stark. And the Knicks now lead 25-20. Bulls going with Kerr, Brown, and Jordan. Jordan is being guarded by Larry Johnson, who occasionally guarded him in the game in Chicago. Foul is called. Foul on Johnson called for the push. That's his first. Well, the Bulls a little bit slow getting back in transition defense and everybody getting sucked back into the lane. John Stark wisely pulling up behind that arc to nail the shot. This is the bench of the Knicks. John Starks having an outstanding year, a legitimate candidate for sixth man of the year. The rookie John Wallace out of Syracuse has also had some, some good moments for New York throughout the first three quarters of the season. And uh, the Knicks also got good play out of the rookie from Kentucky, Walter McCarty, the other night against the Boston Celtics. First pass off the mark. The Chicago Bulls right at the, the bottom of the rankings in terms of of turnovers, the Knicks lead the NBA better than 18 per game. Chicago committing only 13 a game. That is the uh, second fewest, only Detroit with less turnovers. And that's uh, the second by Chicago. The Knicks taking care of the basketball as well with only three. And it's evident because the, the Bulls, no fast break points yet. And that's a big key anytime you play Chicago. And only four points off their second shot opportunity. They're the two key areas Jeff Van Gundy is worried about. And a foul against the Bulls. It is on Jason Caffey. And Michael Jordan trying to body up on John Starks. And Jason Caffey trying to help out a little bit, stepping out to bump the screener, but stepped out with that elbow in clear view of the officials. Starks using the pitch. Rebounded by Oakley, recovered by Williams. Starks whipping by Brown. And the foul. A nice, strong, hard move by John Starks, pulling up, shooting a little teardrop uh, that he learned from Mark Jackson, this one from the baseline, and both Buck Williams and Charles Oakley really asserting themselves right now, just coming into the basket with reckless abandon, just trying to keep the ball alive or get that offensive rebound, and on that last one, Oakley's legs were taken out from under him by Dennis Rodman. Dennis Rodman called for his first 7-0 run by the Knicks. In fact, they've outscored the Bulls 7 zip in the second quarter. And uh, going back to the first quarter, it's a 22-6 run since the Bulls got off to the quick start. So Oakley completes a three-point Knicks play, and it's the Knicks 28 on the Bulls 20. Here's some pressure being shown, light pressure by the Knicks. Now they drop back. Michael Jordan 
Out of the start, hit his first four, but he's missed his last four. Two minutes gone by in the second. Mark Albert, Matt Dukas.